guys, we're going to do two short, quick videos here. One of them on thoroughly detailing the wheels on a GT350, but the techniques and process pretty much would apply to any car. But I'm just going to show you a couple of tricks um, and protocol as far as what I do. Uh, besides, like I said, I take care of my wheels. I don't ever let them get trashed. So usually every couple of months, I um, pull them off the car. I go through a cleaning process. I make sure there's no tar or anything stuck to the inside barrels, uh, whether I clay it or I use a chemical solvent to uh, get everything off. And then I put a coat of colonite on the face of the wheel and on the barrel of the wheel. So I'm going to put the camera on the tripod. I'm going to pull it off and we're going to come back and I'm going to show you uh, the process that I use. I don't use the Adams wheel cleaner. I don't really use a wheel cleaner to do this uh, just for the fact that they're coming off the car and I'm going to spend a little bit more time uh, agitating all the surfaces and going through that. The second video is going to be how to detail and properly clean the anodized brake calipers on the GT350. Uh, there's really no, nobody uh, discussing this online and a lot of guys are having issues with wheel cleaners and um, aerosol tire shines and they're getting a lot of white staining on the calipers and they're going nuts over this and of course the dealer is not going to warranty that uh, due to negligence so you got to be really really careful on what you use on anodized calipers so I'm gonna put the camera down uh, get this all set up and then we're gonna walk you through step by step as far as the proper wheel detail inside and out and uh, a wax protection all right guys here's a quick rundown of what you're going to need to do this job. Definitely get yourself a good pair of rubber gloves. Impact gun, the proper socket. Um, I have some pre-cleaner. We call this Prepsol in the auto body industry. I got my secret weapon right here, the uh, cleaner wax. I have a product here called Malco Red Thunder. I'll discuss a little bit about that, but that's not a wheel cleaner. That's an all-purpose cleaner that I dilute to a certain strength to do this particular type of a job. Got a set of uh, wheel chocks. I have my Ego leaf blower where I took the front of it off and uh, a cheapo microfiber towel. So let's get this started. I like to keep the lug nuts in the tr tray over here. Just makes your life easier. And you don't want to kill it. I mean, some of you guys may not have an impact gun, but makes your life a lot easier that's for sure so there we go the rim is off the car and the one thing I want to show you guys is uh, when I usually do this like you said you see you see how the rim wants to fall over I like to do this job on these foam squares I get these at Home Depot and I use them a lot in the shop I mean they're absolutely amazing and for something like this you don't want to have the rim land face first on your pavement. Uh, like I said, it's, it's dirty. You know, I'm rubbing it here, but it's not terrible. Uh, so here's how I'm gonna set this up. Watch. Okay, and there you go. Now it's set up, it's not gonna roll away from you. And now I got the bucket. And this is, like I said, the Malco Red Thunder. And I'll, I liberally spray it down. Okay. I've been using this product for like 20 years. You may not be able to find this online, but I recommend this over like any of the stuff you're gonna get, like Simple Green or Grease Lightning or 409. And you don't really have to agitate it. Now I have a bucket here with some of the red thunder, uh, very, very lightly diluted, and I got the wheel woolies. So, here we go. And, it's, and then, like I said, this is just, take your time. You know, this is not a 30 minute, uh, you know, detail, like I said. The, the other video where it shows how I wash the car, that's just to keep it maintained. And if you look at this, I mean, I don't see any tar, I don't see any blacktop pebbles stuck to the wheel, but once we get it cleaned, then I'm going to go over it and I'm going to show you everything that's going on over here. And it's a shame that these wheels are made in China. I don't know if you guys knew that, but as soon as I took them off, when I got the car, 
I was like, wow, they're made in China. Uh, I guess they had to save money somewhere, right? And don't forget the outside. I mean, the reason I do this, I usually do this like every four months. Uh, you know, I go through the wheels, I go through the brake calipers, and this just keeps everything clean. And I got a couple of requests, which is why I'm doing this video, and it makes sense. It's a really nice day today. I took the day off, and I'm doing this. I'm not going to show you all four, just because it'll probably be an hour and a half long. I'm just going to show you how to do one. And uh, if anybody has questions, you can post them in the comments section below. And this one's great to get in there, you know, for the lug holes. That's why I like the set. I mean, you buy the set of three, and when you got the, th the wheels off the car, you could really get in there and do a good deep clean. And we're not, we're not going to use the power washer for this, just because, you know, this is a situation where we're spending more time per wheel. We're not doing a 30-minute quick wash and a detail. This is a little bit different, different process. So once we get the wheel cleaned, make sure there's no contaminants stuck to it, then we're going to go and apply a layer of colonite wax. And I'll show you how I do that and a couple of tips on how to do it so you don't go crazy getting it off like most people <laughs> okay so we're going to hose it off All right, that's pretty much it. The wheel is washed. So we're gonna grab this guy here. And then for something like this, we use the, uh, the cheapo microfibers. And you can still see there's still some dirt. And we got some dirt over here that doesn't want to come off. So that's probably like tar. You see, you can see some of these spots. And that's actually some scratches in there. That's most likely from construction debris hitting these wheels every day. And you can see the rag. I mean, it's, you know, we agitated it, but there's still going to be a film on the wheels. And it's kind of hard to see on a black wheel. So, oh, we see we got some, you see that? We got some tar that's on there. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna, we're, we're gonna do now, we're not gonna clay this, we're actually gonna use the solvent. I'm gonna show you how that's done. And you don't need a lot, you just need patience. Just go in the barrel nice and easy. Yeah, these rims have actually a lot of scratches already just from the, uh, the road debris around here. Okay, you can see how all those tar marks from blacktop, because there's been a lot of construction around here, it just comes right off with this chemical. So if you use wheel cleaner, it's not gonna come off. You need to get a strong solvent to reactivate the tar to loosen it up and then it comes right off. And you know, always do, I mean, you can see the rag. You kind of see what's coming off. But yeah, I'm a little aggravated about this, but I don't think there's anything I could do about that because that's living in New York. Yeah, see like rocks at high speeds, they just pelt the inside of the, of the wheel. And uh, we're gonna go over here, you know, clean, clean back here. And the cleaner that I'm using, the Prepsol, it actually will strip any kind of 
uh, grease, wax, uh, anything off the wheel that was on there prior. And that's why it's used in body shops before they decide to spray the car in the spray booth. You go over it with some Prepsol and some rags and then you tack it and then you shoot it in the booth and that eliminates any contaminants and f fish eyes and everything else. Okay. Let's go to the front. Now I see some residue inside the lug barrels and we're just gonna go in there. And I don't know if you can see this on camera but it's totally getting it all out. Whatever's in there. That's done. We're going to grab this. And like I said, this cleaner wax, you guys got to get this stuff. It just works. So I put it on the rag like that. And like I said, when I'm done with this towel, I'm, it's going in the trash. I don't reuse these. We go in there. And you can see, it's, it's getting everything off. And that's what you want. Now, if you don't do this, after like a year or two, it, it's just going to embed itself into the finish. And uh, the rims are going to look like crap. Especially if you go sell the car or, or whatever. But, you know, go over the spokes with the cleaner wax. I mean, there's not, nothing on the exterior of the spokes as far as tar. Usually the tar and pebbles accumulate on the back barrel. That's just what happens while you drive. Okay, I mean these things are going to look beautiful when they're done. So the cleaner wax is so micro abrasive that it will not harm the finish, even on the gloss black finishes on some cars. So there we go. Alright, so pretty much the rim is stripped. We started out with the wash. We stripped it. We removed all the tar and, and uh, residue on the back end. And we did it on the front with the pre-cleaner. And then we used my secret weapon, the Formula 113, which I told you guys about. And there was a little speck right there of tar that I just got off. So that's what's great about this. I mean, look, look at all the contaminants that came off this wheel already. And, you know, if you really want to detail the wheels and put the colonite on, you want to make sure everything is off. You want to give it a good foundation because the colonite is a pain in the ass to put on and off, especially on black rims. So you don't want to do it again. <laughs> and I usually do this regimen every four months. And I, like I said, it takes, you know, you could do the whole car, one, you know, if you have all the equipment in about like an hour, hour and a half, it's not a big deal. Do it on a nice day when you have nothing to do and when your wife is not bitching to go shopping. So that's that. All right, so I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna rearrange things over here, turn the camera off, set it up on the tripod, and uh, I'm gonna take whatever residue is off, and then I'm gonna show you the colonite application. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back. I just wanted to clean up a little bit out here. So as you see, the wheel stays stationary. It's not gonna fall down just with the two wheel chocks like I have it shown. Uh, we're, we're gonna do a layer of colonite. Like I said, if you didn't watch my wax video, take a look at this. This is the stuff you gotta get. I mean, not only do I use it on the paint, uh, you know, on show cars, my daily driver, but it's great for the rims. Do not buy this junk. This is junk, absolutely junk. I've had this junk for how many years, and if you look at it, it's brand new. I tried giving this away. Nobody wants it. So I just wanted to show it on camera, but I'm probably going to just go throw it out right now. And uh, do not buy rim wax. This is a gimmick. It's just another marketing BS buy real carnauba wax. So like I showed you in the, the video, I had the camera on my head, I have it on tripod now. We went through all the spokes with the pre-cleaner, Prepsol, with the microfiber, cheap microfiber towel that took all the tar, any film, any grease that was on the rim. The back of the rim has some rock chips and scratches. There's nothing we could do about that now. That's just the nature of driving this car every day. We took the wheel woolies, the small one, went in here, and then you use your finger with the microfiber, with the cleaner wax, the Formula 113, and you go over the rim again. And that'll just make sure if there's any fine particular matter stuck to the rim, it just gets it all off. And you can see like inside the barrels over here, it's perfect. There's no residue, there's no film, 
no scratches, no dirt. I mean, it, it's ready to go. So what I want to do now is I'm going to set the camera up. I'm going to put the rim laying it down and I'm going to shoot down and I want to show you how to apply the colonite because if you leave it on too long, it's a nightmare to get off. But the trick to getting it off is apply another coat over it to reactivate it. And then you just let it flash for about a minute or two and then just get it right off. So I'm gonna just rearrange this here. I'm gonna shoot, uh, start shooting down and uh, I'm gonna show you how to apply to colonite. All right guys, we're all set up. Like I said, you guys gotta get these foam squares, uh, lay them down in your driveway. Do not use cardboard especially when you're working on wheels because like I said these bigger wheels and tires they're you know the weight is not distributed evenly from one side to the other so they tend to tip over and uh, you'll crash the face so hope you guys get a good view I have a new foam applicator pad and I'm just gonna show you you know it's, it's not a lot of work to apply it's just a little bit of work to get it off so you want to give you know nice even coat on all the spokes in in the lug nut barrels and you don't want to skimp out on this you want it you want it to go on liberally and especially like a lot of dirt collects in there so you really want to get it in there and like I said doing this every couple of months is just gonna you know keep these wheels looking good for years down the road and it's gonna make cleaning them on a weekly basis like I do my car three times a week it's gonna make it go a lot easier I mean I could just feel the rims now after I just did all the pre-clean the form of the 113, my secret weapon. I mean, they're slick. They feel like Teflon right now. They feel like they have a Teflon coating. Now, once the colonite goes on, just want to let it flash for a few minutes. You don't want to let this stuff dry till it becomes like a white haze, like the old school turtle wax. Otherwise, you're going to go crazy trying to get it off, especially on the black wheel. So, that's it. We got everything coated. And I already did the backside, so I'm not going to show you the backside. That was already done. So you're just going to go around the barrel, go around the lip, you know, where the wheel weights might be. And uh, by the time you've finished, it's going to flash, get it off, flip the wheel over, now you're doing the face. So we're doing this in real time, so I'm just showing you. I'm letting it sit for a few minutes, and then we're going to go over it. And I hope the camera could pick up. Um, I'm actually going to try to zoom it in. Hold on. I just zoomed it in a little for a detail shot. So it's already starting to haze. And like I said, this is what I love this stuff. Um, you know, if you saw my wax video, the Griot's garage is just nothing but greasy. It takes really long to flash. The P21S, forget about that stuff. You'll put it on. It's, it's going to take 10 minutes to flash between panels, and you're, you're just going to waste an entire day doing your car. So, yeah, we're ready to go. And then I'm using the um, 16 by 16 uh, 400 GSM chemical guys cloths here. You don't want to use like a long fiber cloth. I don't know, just for this wax just doesn't like to come off with the longer fiber cloths. You know, you could use the $40 PFM towels by Griot's, but you know, like I said, with wheels, after I'm done with the towel, it usually goes in the trash. So, you know, I wouldn't waste time cleaning the microfibers that you're detailing your rims with just because they're so cheap and it just doesn't make any sense to keep them. Okay. Then I'm going to grab a spray bottle of water and I'm going to show you how the water just beads right off this thing. You're going to be pretty impressed, I think. And that, uh, that garbage rim wax that they sell, that stuff doesn't do anything. So the trick to colonite, I mean, you could, I, I hope you guys could even see the level of shine that this rim has now and the level of clarity because it didn't look like this when I took it off the car. And uh, I haven't done this in uh, four months, but yeah, I mean, it looks, it looks outstanding. I mean, I wish you guys could actually feel it because the resistance between the microfiber towel and the finish, it's, it's, like, it's like sliding on a, a Teflon pan. That's how slick it is now. You know, make sure you get the center cap and we're good to go. And once it's on the car, if you have to, you know, if you miss a spot, just it's not a big deal. Just get it on the car. You might have a better visual uh, when it's on the car and it's on the ground to go over it. But like I said, if you leave it on the, if you do miss a couple of spots, it's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to be a little bit of a challenge to get it off once it really, really sets. So there you have it, folks. I mean, uh, you know, that was a, a thorough detail 
we degreased the wheel. Uh, first we washed the wheel, we degreased the wheel. Uh, we removed a lot of the pebbles and tar that were stuck to the inside barrel. We went to the face of the wheel. We also decontaminated everything with the Prepsol solvent. Went over it with the cleaner wax, the Formula 113, which is outstanding. And uh, made sure all the residue of the Formula 113 was off. And now we have a proper foundation for a true car Nuba wax protection for the rims, which I use the Colonite 915. So I'm going to move the rim and I'm going to just show you. I mean, this looks outstanding. I don't even want to put the rims back on the car. They look so good. So let me move the rim and I'll give you a better view of what we got here. Hang tight. All right, folks, I laid the rim down flat just because I want, I want you guys to see the sheen and how amazing it looks. I wish you guys were actually here to see it firsthand. Um, it looks absolutely outstanding. I'm gonna zoom in a little. Hope you guys could pick some of the detail up. I know YouTube does change the quality a bit even though I'm shooting it in 1080 at 60 frames per second. I mean, I hope you guys could see that. I mean, it looks phenomenal. So there you have it folks. I mean, that is a really good way to detail your rims no matter whether it's a GT350 or any other car. I mean there's a couple of different techniques for billet wheels or um, like a gloss black wheel but for the most part it's the same principle. You just don't want to use acid or caustic chemicals. You want to take your time. You want to clean the rim. You want to degrease it with some Prepsol. You want to go over it with a good cleaner wax and then you want, want to apply a really good coat of a really high, high quality car Nuba wax like Colonite 915. I'm going to grab a spray bottle of water and I'm going to show you guys. Let me just pull this right there. Now just watch the way the stuff just... Look at the way it beads. I mean, nothing sticks to it. It just falls right off. And that's because the colonite is such a good car nuba wax. And watch, I'll blow that... Seeing is believing. Look at that. Sprayed it down with water, blew it dry. There's not one water spot. There's no residue. It's a home run. All right, guys, I'm going to put a link in the, in the um, description below that shows and explains a little bit about what I did here and the chemicals. You can get some of the stuff locally. You can get some on Amazon. The Malco Red Thunder, uh, like I said, that's just a product that I've been using for 20 plus years. If you have a product uh, like a all natural cleaner or degreaser that's pH balanced, uh, you know, you're more than happy to just take some and dilute it like, you know, 70, 30 with some water and, you know, kind of go for that. But you just don't want to use anything too caustic. You want to spend a little bit more time agitating and scrubbing and then use the other chemicals and processes to decontaminate the wheel. Um, get anything off the surface that just doesn't want to come out with a normal wash, even with a power washer. Sometimes you can't get any of this stuff off and uh, apply the colonite. So hope you guys like this video. And uh, like I said, it's a pretty quick process. Each wheel would take you between 10, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So like I said, by the time you jack the car up, get the wheels off. I mean, I could put all, all four up in the air at once, but uh, if you can't, just take your time, do it on a, on a Sunday or on a, on a day you have off, and I think you're gonna appreciate the results because they're outstanding. The water just flies right off of it. So now when I drive the car tomorrow and it accumulates brake dust, it's not gonna embed into the surface. It's gonna have a layer of protection, and that's really what you want. That's what's gonna preserve the finish of the wheels, just the way it preserves the finish on, a, on a, the painted surface of the car.